Hello everybody, this is James from Rich Music School and um, today I wanted to just kind of quickly show you guys this tool um, called Iris from Isotope. So it's a subtractive sample based synthesizer um, and what that basically means is instead of generating a tone from a waveform, what we're doing is we're taking frequencies from pre-recorded audio samples um, and we're going to stack those frequencies on top of each other to create a new sound. So in Iris, uh, we can kind of look and see here, I have four different samples I can load in and then manipulate. Um, so I've chosen one sample already. This is a big cat growling. cool stuff there um, so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna pick out some frequencies from this to stack as one layer of my sound and I'm kind of my goal here is to kind of make a atmospheric noise you know something to kind of go on in the background of a track um, to give it more atmosphere more presence uh, the sense of being in an environment instead of just listening to a song um, so that's what we're kind of looking for here. So I'm going to take this first tool and I'm going to select a section. Um, I kind of like this whole sample. So next, what I'm going to do I really like the highs out of this. So I'm going to draw in few little circles to different parts of the sample and what that's going to do is going to take that part of the waveform and accentuate that and every time we draw one of those it changes a little bit. So see we've got these kind of lower pulses happening, lower frequency pulses happening every time we make a circle. So cool, that's going to be one element of our production. We're going to select another sample now. Um, I kind of like this animal noises thing that we've got going. So let's try a dog bark. So cool, now we've got a nice sort of insectoid vibe going from a cat and a dog. Um, I'm also over here on the synthesis aspect, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and give this a bandpass filter. Um, that way we get that kind of whine effect between the transition from lows to highs. I'm also going to give this a little bit of delay and reverb because it has an effects rack down here in the corner, which is really cool. Alrighty, that is sounding super creepy and nice, which is what I like in my music, I guess, for things to sound super creepy. Um... So even still, we have we have two more samples to go. All right. So let's pick another animal animal sound. We'll do we'll do a gibbon. I kind of like that just the way it is. 
Uh, but let's just go ahead and select that high range there and see what that does. stuff right there um, just some really interesting textures and a really effective way to create atmospheres um, so I definitely highly recommend isotope iris um, if only for that reason you can just create these really immersive and evolving atmospheres and you're not really having to rely on like modulating a waveform and spending all this time setting up LFOs to modulate a wavetable or a waveform, you know, it's a lot of these sounds are in the sample already. So you can kind of take and look for sounds that you like and then resynthesize them and take the parts that you like and leave the rest. So just wanted to make a really short video about how cool I think this tool is and just give you kind of an example of how it can be used and how you can get some really effective results just really quickly with a couple clicks and a little ingenuity. Anyway, let us know if you liked this video, and let me know if you want me to do more. I'm James from Rich Music School, signing off. Have a great day, guys.